Hi! In this tutorial I will show you how to make such an object using the Close Filter tool. Let's get start. Press the Shift A and add cylinder. Go to Edit mode. Select the mode of working with polygons. Select these polygons. Press the right mouse button and activate the inset function. Remove polygons. Select these edges, go to the face menu and select the grid fill item. Repeat the operation. Press the right mouse button, activate the loop cut function and add edges. Select these edges, press the right mouse button, activate the subdivide function and write the value 4 in the menu. Go to the mode of working with vertex. Go to the selection menu and select the checker deselect item. Go to the vertex menu and select the item connect vertex pairs. Press the right mouse button and activate the edge bevel function and write two segments. Select these polygons. Go to the selection menu, select the item similar, then area and write this value. Press the right mouse button and activate the circle function from the loop to add-on. At the top menu, we select individual origins. Activate scale function. Press the right mouse button and activate the inset face function. Go to object mode. Add subdivision modifier. Set the value to 3 and apply the modifier. In this menu, activate the shade smooth function. Go to Sculpt mode. In the Face Sets menu, select the item Face Sets from Edit mode selection. Hover the cursor over the poly group and press Ctrl W. Select the Box Mask tool and draw a mask. Press button A and select the item Smooth Mask. Select Close Filter tool. Move the cursor over the poly group and draw the cursor to the left. Attention! We do such short and single movements. One, two, three, four. This way we will get a more visible seam. Select the smooth brush and activate Radial Symmetry in the properties. Fix these places. Go to Object Mode. Add Subdivision Modifier. Congratulations! We finished! Thank you all for watching and good luck!